This video continues on uh, discussing relationships between lines and planes. Uh, example four is going to talk about how to actually make a sketch of a plane. So we're going to find the x, y, and z intercepts and then make a sketch. So we'll start with our x intercept. And we're going to set y equal to zero. And because we're in 3D, z equal to zero. So we can use our equation of the plane, 3x minus 8 times 0 minus 8 times 0 plus 24 equals 0. This is going to give us that x equals minus 8. So our x-intercept is at minus 8, 0, 0. Then our y-intercept, we're going to set x equals to 0 and z because we're in 3D. So we've got 3 times 0 minus 8 times y minus 8 times 0 plus 24 equals 0. Uh, and here, this is going to give us that y equals 3. So we have our y-intercept as 0, 3, 0. And then we've got our z-intercept. So we're going to set the other two coordinates equal to 0. So we've got 3 times 0 minus 8 times 0 minus 8 times z plus 24 equals 0. So we're going to get that z equals 3, and then our z coordinate is 0, 0, 3. Now what we actually do is draw a triangle to represent a plane. So I'm going to just extend the x-axis back here using a dotted line. And now I'm going to plot my three points. So the first one I'm going to do is my x-intercept. So I'm going to estimate it's negative, so it has to go back here. We'll say it's about here. So this is my x-intercept, minus 8, 0, 0. The next one I'm going to plot is my y-intercept here, 0, 3, 0. So I'm going to go along my y-axis here, my green point. 0, 3, 0. And finally, my z, 0, 0, 3. So that's on the positive z-axis. Say it's about here. Oh, probably should be a little bit closer if my scale is the same. There, that's better. 0, 0, 3. And then what I'm actually going to do is draw a triangle that connects those three points. Uh, and I will do that in, let's do that in purple. So I'm going to draw a triangle. So here, here, and here. And then I'm going to shade it in. And what this represents is that it continues indefinitely in all directions along that, along that line. Let's look at two more examples. Here, uh, number five, we're going to do another point of intersection of the line and the plane. If you remember, there is one case that we haven't done where the line lies on top of the plane. So maybe you have an idea of what we're looking at here. Uh, so we're, we're going to start with our definition for any point on the line. So x, y, z. Here we're given the vector equation, so it's a little bit more work um, to put into this. Uh, you can write out the parametric equations first if you would like. We've got minus 2 minus 5s, and then we've got 1 minus 3s. So that's our any point on the line. We're going to substitute that point into our equation of the plane. So we're going to start with our x, taking our x parametric equation, 3 plus 14s. Hopefully your s's don't look like 5s plus y minus 2 minus 5 s and then we've got our z so our last one for z is plus 3 and then we're going to insert our parametric equation for z into our z for the equation of the plane don't forget about uh, the d coefficient in your scalar equation of a plane. 
Now we can simplify all that, and what you're going to end up with is 0t minus 0 equals 0. Therefore, 0t equals 0. This looks different. Uh, example 3 in the previous video had uh, 0t equals 8, where there was no solution there because there's no value of t that you can put in. Here, any value satisfies this equation. So the line is on the plane, which is cool. OK, uh, the last one we're going to do is just another sketch of a plane. 3x plus 2y minus 18 equals 0. So in order to sketch the plane, just like in example 4, we need to find the intercepts. So our x-intercept, we've got y equal to 0. and and there's no z, so that's fine. Let's actually change this question here. So let's do 3x plus 2y minus 6z minus 18 equals 0. So here we've got uh, x-intercept, so we're setting y and z equal to 0. So we've got 3x plus 2 times 0 minus 6 times 0, minus 18 equals 0. So we get 3x equals 18, x equals 6, which means that our x-intercept is going to be 6, 0, 0. Next one is our y-intercept, so we're going to set x equal to 0 and z equal to 0. So we've got 3 times 0 plus 2 times y minus 6 times 0, minus 18 equals 0. So we're going to get 2y equals 18, y equals 9. Uh, and then we've got our y-intercept as 0, 9, 0. Uh, my z, I'm just going to find over here. So I've got my z-intercept, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. So I would have 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 6z minus hmm, 18 equals 0. I'm going to get minus 6z equals 18, which means that z is equal to minus 3. So my z intercept is going to be 0, 0, minus 3. So let's put those points on. It looks like I'm going to need a negative z-axis. So I'll dot that down, the opposite direction of the positive z. Uh, my other ones are both positive, so that's fine. So let's start by plotting my x-coordinate, 6, 0, 0. Let's see, 3, 6. Put that here, and I will label it. Next is y, 0, 9, 0. So let's see, 3, 6, 9, 0, 9, 0. And then the last one is z here, 0, 0, minus 3. So I'll try and put that here, 0, 0, minus 3. And then we'll connect those three points. So here, here and here to get a triangle. And if you can picture that, it sort of slices uh, down and into the page just below the origin. So there are some examples of intersections of planes and lines. Good luck with the homework questions.